All right, this is the typical lesson creation process on the desktop version of Creator AVR and the AVR portal. So let's go through the tabs first. This is the admin tab right here. Uh, this is where the general school information is managed, like the name of the school, the, the logo, who the lead admin is, how many of your accounts you've used up, your teacher accounts and student accounts, and you can set your profiles and privileges as well. Uh, next, we go to the people tab. Now the people tab is where the admin of the school will manage all the accounts. He'll be able to add new accounts, delete them, modify them. Uh, and so you've got all your accounts there. Uh, next we've got the content tab. And this is where this, this one the teachers will have access to. And this is where all the lessons and the courses are stored. And so you can, you know, as an admin, you can delete them. As a teacher, you can delete your own. And this is the assets tab. Now the assets tab is the one we're going to be focusing most of our time on today. And uh, let's go ahead and add a new asset. So we click on the upload new asset button. And then we add a, our zip file that contains an FBX and a JPEG texture. So we just drag and drop that onto the uh, the page. And then we just click on auto convert. And what's that, what that's going to do is it's going to upload the file. And once the file is uploaded, it's going to go ahead and automatically convert it into an EMP, uh, which is a format that's read, that's um, understood by Creator AVR. All right, so you can see that it automatically converted it. It created a thumbnail. So we can now change the name of that object. By default, it takes the name of the, um, the 3D model itself. We can add a description to that. So it's a two-cylinder combustion engine whose cylinders are arranged in a V configuration. So we can, once we've done that, we can assign a category to it. So in this case, we're gonna give it the um, land vehicles and transport category. And we're done. So we can click on save, and that takes us back to our objects list. And we can see that at the top there, the object that I just added um, has been added to the list. So now what I can do is go into the content page uh, or the content tab and I can create a new lesson using the object that I just uploaded. So I click on create new course first because my courses contain lessons. So let's create one called land transport or land transportation. We can add a logo to it. Um, so because this is going to be about transportation, I want to pick something that's relevant. It's the motorcycle, for example, assign a color to it. All right, next we can uh, assign a category to it. So automotive engineering, for example. And then I wanna put, I wanna write in a lesson objective. All right, set the level 12th grade. So that's pulled directly from the admin page. All right, so we've saved our lesson, our course rather. Uh, now we can go back into the lessons page and we can start adding an actual lesson to this course. Now there are three ways to do it from 3D model using an existing lesson and add a standalone application. So we're going to do it using a 3D model in this case because we just added one and we want to use it in our lesson. So uh, I didn't publish it so I go into the unpublished section and I can see it there at the top. So what I do is I click on it and then I click on the launch button. And if I've installed Creator AVR already, for desktop, uh, that's going to load the interface that's going to allow me as a teacher to start creating my lesson. So here's my 3D model. Um, so this is sort of uh, what it's going to look like. It's a way for me to preview what it's going to look like to my student. I can see all the, the transparency, um, the exploded view. I can automatically generate my um, annota annotations there. So the way that it's pulling their name their names is from the 3D model itself, but of course I can modify that if I want to. Now let's add an intro to my object. I click on the intro on the right side there. Uh, I can add, a, I can either upload a, an audio file or type my intro myself and then convert it into audio using a text-to-speech conversion software that we've integrated into this. So here I'm typing something here. This is a V engine, an engine whose cylinders are arranged in a V formation. I can synthesize that listen to it. This is a V-twin engine, an engine whose cylinders are arranged in a V formation. And then click on OK. So I've now added an intro, and I can start adding other things. So we've got the memo, for example. This is going to focus the student's attention on a specific part of the object. Let's make it about the exhaust valve rocker, for example. And similarly, I can add some audio here as well. So I don't need to do it because we've already seen how to do that. And now, uh, the way that these all work 
is uh, that you focus on a part of the object, let's say this one for example, and then you add a challenge or an activity about that part. So here we've added a locate mode that's going to require the student to find that part. Uh, we can set how much time it will it'll um, allow them to take before the timer runs out. So we've set the timer, we're all, we're all right, so that one's done. We can go ahead and add, for example, a, uh, a quiz mode now about this part, the oil intake screen assembly, which I've double clicked again and went into the crankcase. So let's say that I want to add a quiz about the crankcase. Now by default, um, the question is what is this, but I do have the ability to change that. Uh, so I'm typing what is the crankcase for in this case. And uh, I can also change each of these um, multi-choice answers. So I don't actually know what this is for, so I'm just going to type something um, that sounds accurate to someone who doesn't know what an engine does. So let's say that it's for protecting the oil filter, and I'll change another one and type something else there. Housing the piston shaft, for example. And I'll select that as the correct answer, so that when the student is presented with all the answers, they have to select that one to get all the marks. Okay, I can change the, t change the timer on that one too. And then let's go ahead and add, for example, a build mode. Now I want the student to build the entire object, so I'll click on the home button to go back up and then add a, add a build mode about that part, or the, the whole object in this case. Okay, once again I can change the timer, and I, so on and so forth. I can keep adding as many activities as I want, and once I'm satisfied I just click on the save button, which is going to take me back to the page uh, where we left off at my course. and. Uh, yeah, there we go. So I, once I've saved it, I can close it, and it takes me back to the page where I will see um, my uh, my my lesson list.